Okay, so today let's talk about three types of things that you should be putting on your skin regularly. Um, I call this the ace in the bag. Ace in the hole, ace on your face. Whatever you wanna say uh, is vitamins A, C, and E. Now, vitamin A is also known as retinol. Retinol is the FDA's go-to ingredient when it comes to overall skin health collagen stimulation, brightening, acne control, just tightening the skin. It's a great, great ingredient. Um, retinol creams are typically gonna come, um, like I said, in a cream type of a form. This is something that, it can also come as a gel. This is something that you want to start slowly. It is not a uh, product that you want to start using every single night all at once because it can cause some dryness to the skin and over exfoliation. I also don't recommend that you, once you have worked up to a stronger strength, that you use it nightly for a prolonged period of time. Over time, it can cause the skin to almost have a plasticky kind of a feel, texture, and appearance. So be cautious with retinol. It's an amazing ingredient, but just be cautious with it. I don't want you to go out and get a super strong retinol, start using it every single night, and uh, think that you're gonna get a great, great result. You definitely have to work up to it. Retinol is best used, like I said, at night. So you would wash your face, pat it dry, and then just let your skin dry for a couple of minutes. You don't need a lot. A pump or two is fine for the forehead down to the neck. This is the bottom of your face. All of your skincare products for your face need to go down to the chest, even down to that cleavage area, because we do get a lot of sun damage here and we want to treat that as well, okay? So you're gonna let your skin dry and then take a pump or two of this, dot it all around your skin, let it soak in for a minute or two, then put on your nightly moisturizer, something that's gonna lock that vitamin A in, retinol. Now, in the morning, you definitely want to make sure that you wash your face because retinol can cause sensitivity to the sun. So in the morning, when you get up, do your face wash routine, pat dry. Now you can leave your skin just a little bit damp and put on a vitamin C. And vitamin C can either be as an oil or it can be as a cream. So either way, and one is not necessarily better than the other, we'll get more into vitamin C down the road. Um, some of them are meant to be more as a cream, some as an oil, and we'll discuss those differences. But for whichever product you have, wash your skin, pat dry, leave it a little bit damp, take your pump or two, forehead down to the chest area, work that in, and then put your moisturizer and your sunscreen on top. Now, the reason that you wanna put vitamin C on slightly damp skin is because it is water soluble. So if you have a little bit of moisture on the surface of the skin, it is really going to get in there. So the E will come in. Sometimes your vitamin C will be combined with E. It is not always, but if you have a vitamin C serum, which has vitamin E already in it, it just makes it even better. Vitamin E is an oil, a lipid. So some vitamin C's are water soluble, others are lipid soluble. So putting it on damp skin as a combination of C plus E, you're really gonna get a great benefit from that. Let me know if you have any questions.